What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to talk about Shining Fates. Uh, the next, this is Hidden Fates 2.0. It is, has been announced, uh, slated for February. So hope your wallets have recovered from Champion's Path because it's just in a few months. Uh, I think it's going to get worse as far as the demand for these products. Uh, so today I'm going to go over just what my thoughts are on basically what this set means uh, for the near future and kind of like the future of the TCG. I do feel like there is some good news here as well as some bad news and kind of like some in my opinion bad precedence that's being set for the future of the tcg so let's start with some of the good news and that is that the time between uh the japanese release and the english has been shortened quite a bit so taking a look at some like release date information ultra shiny gx came out in late in 2018 and hidden fates didn't come out to august of the following year so basically you know for close to a 10 month gap i think for a while uh people were like you know when is this set going to come to english and people were like losing hope uh but for shine uh, hidden Shining Fates. Uh, it's just a three month gap where uh, it, it just came out. It's still pretty new for Japanese. Uh, the Japanese release was like a week old at this point and just three months later we will get it. So a much shorter wait and uh, we don't have to be as um, eager for it to come out in English. And I do think that has a side effect, at least for myself. You know, one thing that I really like to do is put together binder collections. Yes, I absolutely love having PSA cards uh, cards graded by PSA uh, however when I just want to flip through the cards or when I want to look at the art and stuff like that I just do it through a binder collection and one of my favorite binders is the Hidden Fates uh, Ultra Shiny GX and Hidden Fates binder collection or binder so for Shining Fates I think what this mean is probably like late February early March I'm gonna look to pick up all the singles for the uh, Japanese set and basically create the binder yeah the jars would probably be still pretty expensive but I think everything else I could pick up for relatively cheap and create half of that binder right off the bat and don't have to wait a year to do so as compared to like hidden fates was all right so let's move on to in my opinion what is you know some of the bad news about this set and that is yeah it's we're so excited because it's another shiny shiny base set but however i'm not so excited because it is another shiny set already and let me talk a little bit more about that so Here's a kind of like a list of the sets that the um, the Fate sets will comprise of. So Hidden Fates, we had all the stuff from Sun and Moon all the way to Unbroken Bonds. And that's like 10 sets all together. Although Unbroken Bonds is kind of a bit of asterisk while it does have some cards on Unbroken Bonds. I believe they were all from the Hidden Fate set and they didn't have anything from the, the uh, Shiny Vault. But uh, definitely, you know, a solid nine sets for uh, the Shiny Vault. What do we have for Shining Fates? There's only five sets out right now. And I fear that this sets a bad precedence for, you know, what I don't want to see is these shiny sets basically becoming like a revolving door where like every six months, you know, it's like, all right, well, we you've been collecting these cards for the past six months and we're just going to do it again. We're just going to recycle everything. Um, you know, so this is kind of assuming Sword and Shield, the size of all the Sword and Shield as far as the number of sets is going to be somewhat closer, uh, comparable to that of Sun and Moon. And if so, like, I do feel like it's kind of early for this, the Shining set to already be out. And it brings me to this point of, in my opinion, when everything is special, actually nothing is. Hidden Fates, you know, was, you know, very novel, was original, um, or yeah, it was reprint of all these various sets of all these cards, but in shiny form. And it was kind of like the first version is version 1.0. So it was new and everybody had a blast myself included still to this day, my favorite set to open. Uh, however, if this just becomes the like, all right, we're just going to repeat the same process, you know, it won't be special anymore. Kind of along a similar vein as I do feel like the Pokemon TCG is uh, going through another phase of like super low effort card design. Uh, so here's some cards actually from actually the red and blue all the way on the, on the right was from Cosmic Eclipse, but they uh, for the the supporters they had the tag team supporters, and all they simply did was take the art from Red's Challenge, take the support the uh, supporter from Blue's Tactics, combine them, put, fill in a random background, and boom, there you have it, red and blue. I thought this was as lazy as it gets. 
However, the thing about this was, I think Cosmic Eclipse, I still really enjoy that set because they could get away with this. These were just the uncommon supporters. Uh, they weren't that hard to pull. Uh, so it was okay. And the max rarities did have their own unique arts, which I thought were pretty good. So, you know, this was like an instance of low effort card design, but I didn't mind it too much. And I feel like those days are kind of over. We're in a new era of, you know, not only is it low effort card design, but they are adding new max rarities, which I am very much not a fan of. Um, so if we just have Lapras here, for example, Sword and Shield. You got the regular and then the rainbow, the rainbow being the max rarity. And then, nope, that's not the max rarity. Now you have to, now we also have the shiny one for you to chase as well. And um, so not only is is new master but it's in like in a completely different set so it feels kind of cash grabby and super low effort on the part of the pokemon trading card company and again hidden fates was the first time so i think they got away with it but if this be continues to happen over and over again i do feel like it's going to get old and the shiny sets will become less special at least for myself and now we're going to talk about the kind of like the the best and worst offender of just this thing and that is of course the Charizard. Uh, I feel like Pokemon is milking this guy for <laughs> everything that they can get out of him. So Charizard V Max, the art is amazing. It was the, you know, the chase card for Darkness of Blaze and then the insanity that was Champion's Path where yeah, it's still not that easy, easy to find. Um and yeah, there was two Charizards in here but uh you know as far as like the art itself i think this one takes is better than the regular v and now we have shining fates coming so this this single art is drive going to be the driving force for now its third set and all they're doing is just changing you know from regular to rainbow to shiny uh again i feel like this is very low effort um i in my opinion i think it would be a better state of like um, for collectors if at least they give us like an alternate art is not just the same exact thing but shiny again hidden fates i think it was the first time we have like this huge shiny set or uh, you know especially like these full arts and stuff like that so i think it was okay but now i think they still need to change it up a little bit i feel like it's again just very low effort um so in summary again uh come february i am super excited for this set and uh, going to be eager to do some openings however i do feel like this is could be setting a bad precedent for not only you know rinse repeat with the same thing but actually having it more frequently and i think it kind of makes each of them a little less special in that way uh, i kind of want to see some more innovative ideas you know some more alternate art and stuff like that um you know one odd thing where i think it was kind of moving in a, in a good direction was when tag uh the um was it all stars uh came out for the japanese set where they had all these cool alternate arts of all the tag teams it's weird that never came out in the u.s uh it was kind of mixed mixed emotions though because they also had the like the gold rarity too which to me is low effort again uh they just kind of swapped in some new colors but uh, for the most part, they most of the cards that have alternate art printings as well. So I thought if that was going to go in the right direction. I kind of like that better. Um, as excited as I am for Shiny, I would like to see some new arts as well. So that's going to be it for me today. And just wanted to share my thoughts. As always, let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. And I'll catch you guys next time.